One year ago today, astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley arrived at the International Space Station after launching from our space coast, marking the first time in nearly a decade NASA astronauts launched from American soil. Now tonight, NASA's new leader is just a few weeks into his new job, and he's taking and he's talking only to New Six about where the space agency is headed and if the Artemis mission is back on track. Former U.S. Senator and now NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has lifelong ties to space and the Space Coast. News 6's Eric Von Enken caught up with Nelson via Zoom in Washington, D.C. Senator, you and I spent many an overnight early morning at the Kennedy Space Center together. You were there for pretty much every single launch. Uh, indeed, um, especially when we could bring members of Congress down because it was a way in which then they could have an experience with the space program. Bill Nelson, as a moderate Democrat senator, was always one of NASA's biggest cheerleaders growing up on the Space Coast, flying on Shuttle Columbia 35 years ago. And so when his friend, as he calls him, President Biden, asked Nelson to lead NASA. You snap to attention, you click your heels and you say, I, I, sir, Mr. President. And you did. I did. And I'm having a ball. And one of his challenges now was similar to what it was when he was a senator. Get more money for NASA. He says his new budget request will be the largest ever for NASA science. The agency only got $850 million from Congress to build a lunar lander. That's the craft that will take humans down to the surface of the moon. He says he needs $3.4 billion for that. Well, it's going to be difficult if the Congress won't open up the pockets, but I'm working on that. The Space Launch System, or SLS, is NASA's baby, as he calls it. The monster rocket that will take the next man and first woman back to the moon, and eventually Mars. Under the Trump administration, the plan was a moon landing in 2024, and an uncrewed mission later this year. But now, the Government Accountability Office says 2024 is less likely. The technology for a landing has yet to be developed. So there's a lot of excitement. Are we going to get back to the moon, sir, by 2024? It's uh, a stretch. It's uh, a challenge. But the schedule is 2024. Will Elon Musk get it done sooner? Well, to be determined. Uh, let's see. Uh, Elon has uh, been very successful in low Earth orbit. Remember, NASA awarded Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, a $2.9 billion contract to build that lunar lander. And then Blue Origin, a competing space company run by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, filed a protest with the federal government because Blue Origin didn't get the contract. So Nelson tells me right now the protest is being reviewed during a 100-day blackout period, so he cannot talk about it. What he could talk about, I also asked him about how much longer would he like to do this? He's 78 years old. He tells me as long as the good Lord lets him. Eric Von Eggen, Getting Results, News 6.